touches the heart her name is uh, Ruth Cotto in that beautiful one titled Coco and it's coming to you from Africa Radio the 65th episode of African Cocktail with Ernest Kanjo just right ahead we're moving to Johannesburg where Solomon Atta is on standby Solomon is our main man in that part of the world and so the verdict of uh, the famous Oscar Pretorius case comes up tomorrow that is definitely some big news coming from south africa our man solomon atta has been following up this case for quite some time now and i must say that uh, we've had quite much of it on this show thanks to solomon solomon is back today to tell us how uh, south africa breezes to have the verdict of this very popular case tomorrow solomon how is the atmosphere out there good afternoon and to welcome to African Cocktail. Good afternoon to you, NS. Uh, good evening. It's now at, uh, 5.30, 17 hours 30 in Johannesburg, the city of gold. NS, the news media is abuzz with the verdict expected of uh, the Oscar Pictorious trial that I've reported on since March 2014. NS, I just want to give you and the listeners uh, some timeline because the big verdict is tomorrow, Thursday, the 11th of September 2014. And as this trial began in March this year following the murder um, of Oscar Pinturas' girlfriend, Rivia Stinkham, mm. which took place in the hours of Valentine's Day 2014, 2013, I beg your pardon. So I'm just going to read out some i just give you and the listeners some timelines. On August the 19th, the day which the river strength on 10.30, Pretorius appeared in court, in the Pretoria Magistrate Court, um, uh, to have the state indictment served on him. He was charged with premeditated murder and violation of the Firearms Control Act of South Africa, accompanying the indictment list of wanted possible witnesses. February 14th, um, the anniversary of skin camps, the Pretorius was a tribute to her on his official website. No words can absolutely or adequately capture my feelings about the devastating accident that has caused such a headache for everyone who truly loved. Um, and let's, let's fast forward now to the 12th of July where Pretorius and a Johannesburg businessman named uh, Javed Mortima were reported to be involved in a nightclub brawl in the Sunday. The 13th of July, Pretorius was a murder a number of pictures on Twitter, and then on the 7th of August, the state and the defense present their closing argument, both on Pretorius and Stenkamp's father made a daily appearance at the court trial. This was their first time that the parents um, of both the accused and the deceased person, a reverse Stenkamp, made their appearance in court. And, that's, and then uh, Barry Road, uh, uh, which the state, um, uh, uh, the defense for the accused person, the athlete, um, certain evidence that they, they submitted in court and that it was crucial that they should have considered order say the court had ignored certain crucial matters in the trial. And as tomorrow is the 11th of September and the judge is expected to deliver the verdict. So this is a big one, NS, for the entire world because this was the poster boy of South African sports and a world-renowned athlete. So it's a heavy work for the family of the deceased rivers, Jinkham, and the country is holding its breath for what the verdict would look like. Ernest? Hmm. Solomon, uh, that's some very interesting news coming from South Africa there. So uh, what is the weather out there today, Solomon? The weather is fine. We had a wonderful day uh, in September now, so we are out of winter. And it's a wonderful, wonderful day. The temperatures are at 24 today, which is warm and not very uncomfortable, but it's an absolute wonderful day to be at the beach. Unfortunately, Hello? Okay, we're sorry about that. Uh, we lost uh, Solomon Atta, who was uh, about running off uh, his package from Johannesburg, the city of gold. Thank you so much, Solomon. We'll have you again next week. <laughs> <laughs>